Good morning lovely students. How are you all? Welcome back to the virtual classes once again. I'm your science teacher Ms. Zerab Khan and uh, students please give your attendance in the comment box and for that you need to mention your name class in section and uh, do not forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel for uh, further notification you need to hit the bell icon okay and i really believe that you all must be having rough notebooks with you to note down some very important information regarding the current chapter as you know online exams are knocking at the door and for that you must be prepared and uh, please study wise and study smart you need to study really very hard for your online exams and I know you all are really intelligent so you'll make it up to that okay students uh, in our uh, previous videos we covered half of the chapter and uh, wherein we talked about skeletal system skull backbone and rib cage but today our topic is totally different from the previous one okay so any guesses well, for that, I will give you two situations. Okay. First one is, see, you are watching online videos and uh, you are watching with the help of smartphone, laptop or maybe your personal computer. Right. So, which part of your body are you exactly using to operate smartphone, laptop or your personal computer? Think. And your second situation if which part of your body you use for playing football or for walking or for running so think and give me your answer well you get it right first answer is hands or arms and the second answer is legs so our today's topic is all about limbs and girdles and we'll also be studying about functions of the skeletal system. So let's zoom in to the world of limbs and girdles and functions of skeletal system. Chapter 4 our skeletal system. Hey kids let's study about limbs. But before that do you know what do you mean by limbs? your legs and your arms are considered as limbs and here you can see we are having two different parts of the limbs first one is fore limbs and the second one is hind limbs so both are really very essential now i'll tell you one by one look at this this is your arm and first of all we will discover about four limbs so basically uh, in four limbs we are having uh, three parts upper arm lower arm and your fingers or you call it as whole wrist okay so we are having how many parts three parts upper arm lower arm and the fingers portion this four limbs are attached to the shoulder four limbs are attached to the shoulders it helps us to pick and carry things when we pick something and when we carry something okay it helps us to pick and carry things now moving on to the hind limbs you can see legs over here okay it also consists of three different parts this one is your upper leg this one is lower leg and toes okay so mainly it is having three parts upper leg lower leg and toes and your hind limbs are attached to hip bone from this side they are attached to hip bone from this side and they are having uh, three different parts it helps us to walk and run of course we walk and run with the help of our legs But kids, as you know, human body is incomplete without bones. So bones are present inside our arms and inside our legs. So let's talk about humerus bone, which is present 
this side in our upper arm section and this bone is known as humerus bone which is present in your arm and here this bone is present at the upper leg and this is called as femur kids you know one very interesting fact that femur bone is the longest bone in the human skeletal system this is the longest bone we are able to do any kind of thing just with the support of four limbs and hind limbs without four limbs we won't be able to pick or carry things and without hind limbs we won't be able to walk or run so this is very interesting and uh, very important information regarding limbs here you can see four limbs this whole is your four limbs okay upper arm lower arm and your fingers portion this is your hind limbs and this is the upper leg lower leg and your toes so moving on to the girdles we are having two girdles inside human skeletal and uh, first one is shoulder girdle and the second one is pelvic girdle let's go deep down inside the girdles one by one shoulder girdle consists of shoulder blade and collar bone you know four limbs are connected to shoulder girdles See here you can see this one is your shoulder girdle and this particular one is your pelvic girdle So just now I told you that shoulder girdle consists of your collarbone so this particular one is your collarbone you can also touch your collarbone and you can feel it and at the back side you are having shoulder blade on the ref, left and the right side inside pelvic girdle we are having three large flat bones which are really joined together and hind limbs are connected to pelvic girdles So basically girdles are joints that helps us to move the four limbs and hind limbs. Mm. See if girdles would not have been there then we would not have been able to walk to move our hands or to move our legs because these all are things are very essential for the movement of our body. Bones of our hands or you can say four limbs they are attached to shoulder girdle and bones of your hind limbs they are attached to pelvic girdle just because of girdles you are able to perform various activities to do different kinds of exercises and many other things because it helps us to walk and to move our body parts so these informations are as per your standard and uh, when you will move to the next higher classes you will be able to study up in more depth regarding limbs and girdles so students this is second topic of our today's video and uh, probably the last one functions of the skeletal system and if you want you can note it down in your rough copy for having further more details regarding the chapter as well 
functions of the skeletal system as everyone is now familiar with the word skeletal and you know already that skeletal system is also known as framework and structure of a human body right so don't forget the names let's move on its main functions are first it gives shape and support to our body second it protects our soft internal organs and third, it allows the movement of different body parts. Never ever forget students, skeletal system plays a major role in human body. Without skeletal system, our body is just like a jelly, which can't stand on its own without the framework or the structure. And here you can see some interesting things. Skeletal system consists of different parts and it's almost incomplete without skull, backbone, ribcage, limbs and girdles. So I really hope the functions of the skeletal system, they are very clear in front of you and I believe that you will learn each and every point very carefully and you will remember all of these for throughout your life okay